After presenting your logon credentials, you'll be presented with a screen with options to check in or out a key. We'll check out. We have three options, XT, IFOB, or a combination of IFOB or XT. IFOB or combination would be used for a hybrid cabinet, but for this example, we'll check out an XT key. You're presented with three options, search by name, list, or filter. Name is for if you have the keys named, list will present you a list of available assets based on serial number. Filter will allow you to filter through various attributes. For this example, we'll proceed with list. You'll be presented with available keys based on serial number. You'll then be prompted with an option for reason code, which is customizable for the business unit. You'll hit continue. At this point, it will be a final check just verifying that this is the asset you'll want to release from the cabinet. Press check out, open the cabinet door, and remove the selected asset. Close cabinet door. As you can see, when we remove the key from the cabinet, it does not have any access assigned yet as it doesn't operate a cylinder and you're presented with a red light. After presenting the key to the programming port, you'll see the programming progress from 0 to 100%. Once complete, you can remove the key and as you can see it now has access to one of the cylinders it was assigned to based on the schedule configured in XT Web Manager for this user that checked out the key.